to see the kind of industries that are opening up. This is Local Biz Now with Joe Vagnone, where your business matters. Local Biz Now. You have to determine what is working, what isn't working. Joe Vagnone is a respected business broker, helping individuals buy and sell businesses. Joe has successfully owned and operated many companies in a variety of industries. This is Local Biz Now. Local Biz Now. Because your business matters. And this is Local Biz Now. I am Joe Vagno, and you are listening to the number one talk business show in all of North Carolina. Certainly all of the Vills, from Statesville all the way to Huntersville, and all of the small towns in between. This is News Talk WSIC, 105.9 FM, 100.7 FM, 1400 AM. I am Joe Vagno, and this is Local Biz Now. Let me prove to you why we number one. We have been doing this well over 10 years. We have over 775 small business owners and community leaders that we have interviewed over the years. We have well over 400 videos on my brand new sexy YouTube channel. Go to Joe Vagnone Business Broker on the YouTube and see all of the videos that we have done over the years. We are also live on the book. Go to the book and you can play and communicate with us through the book. We appreciate everything that you have done for us over the years. This is a special celebratory show. It is a holiday show of all proportions. We have such a spectacular show for you. I don't even know where to start. Let me start by thanking my my uh, buddy in crime on this one, Isaiah, my friend. Thank you for uh, putting together this holiday show, my friend. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. And why is it so special? Because we have our children here today to help us celebrate this show. Now, my child, I don't think, wanted to be here. He come kicking and screaming. But your kids seem to be ready to go and excited about the, the holiday show. Would you like to introduce your children? to the wonderful radio uh, audience out there? Uh, I, I sure will. Uh, we have uh, my son. He's all the way to the left. It's Gideon. And then my daughter right next to him. It's Selah. And I'm sure you'll get that right the whole show. <laughs> Selah is a little tricky for me. So her middle name is Grace. So if you hear me call her Grace. Yeah, we'll give you a little grace on this one. Give me a little grace on Selah's name. I would like to introduce you to my son. His name is Christopher Joseph Vagnone. Ew. I have never called him yeah, that. I've never heard you say that. His name is CJ. And, and his girlfriend is with us. She is the she's the brains behind this outfit. Uh, <laughs> Ashley. Ashley is it Ashley Fry? Yeah. Positive. That, that, it's freed, but free. <laughs> it's freed, spelled fry. Freeze, freeze, freeze dried. No, freed, <laughs> freed. Ashley, freed. She's, Why he's are you gonna get me like I'm supposed to know that? You're gonna get everything. You even got your son's name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the holiday show. You can already tell what we're getting ready to do here is going to be fun and entertaining. Now, before we get started, let me explain to you what I want to do. What I want to do is read holiday Christmas poems and stories and have a little bit of, um, let's call it new uh, uh, sound behind it. So three before we get three dimensional reading, three dimensional. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. My boy is so brilliant. Three dimensional story. OK, now, before we get started, I want everybody to make a. I'll, when I call your name, wait. I can see the little fella down there ready to go. When I call your name, I want you to make a little noise so everybody knows that sound will probably be coming from you. Are you ready? He smiled. He said, yes. Gideon, giddy up. Let me see a little, a little bit more. Get a little taste, a little freestyle. That will be Gideon. Plus, he's probably going to be hollering and screaming a little bit. And also this. <laughs> <laughs> Selah Grace. She plopping. Go ahead and do the other one, too. You got the other one. <laughs> Say what you said. <laughs> he said she's plopping. She plopping. There you go. <laughs> Ashley, what you got for us? 
<laughs> For those of you that cannot see this right now, it is a coat hanger <laughs> with paper wrapped around it that came from the dry cleaner. That's going to work. That, that's going to be good. And, of course, she has my guitar. Oh, that's going to be pleasant and nice. Okay. CJ, what you got for us? I got a little two-parter. <laughs> it is a cup and a whistle, looks and like. Might get a little hot cross buns in there if we oh, need it. Oh, I remember buying that for you in middle school. I don't think you blew on that thing more than three times. I didn't. Okay. Okay. So now that you know what's happening, let us start with the very first holiday. Uh, this will be a poem. Okay? The very first holiday poem. Sit back. Relax. Get yourself a cup of coffee and enjoy this. Here we go. Are you kids ready to go? Oh, we're ready. Okay. The dreaded Christmas fruitcake. Stop, stop, stop. Isaiah, are you going to put some music on now, or are you going to wait till next it's week? It's fading in. Yeah, you gotta get, look, you've got to give me time. <laughs> now is pleasant. Now it's pleasant. <laughs> Isaiah's the worst board operator in the world. Oh, no, I can't make fun of you in front of the kids. Scratch that, Grace. Just wait. Till Grace says, "I don't care. Go ahead and make fun, Dad." <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. The dreaded Christmas fruitcake. Oh, fruitcake! Oh, fruitcake! Why are you heavy like a rock? And why do people keep sending you to me? I really wish you'd stop. Stop. Your texture is like rubber. And your fruit is chewy like gum. I think no one would give you as a gift if they'd ever eaten some. I've tried to re-gift you, but you just keep coming back. If I have to look at you one more time, I think my mind will crack. I really hate to be wasteful. And I don't like to act rash. But I can't take it anymore. You're going into the trash. Oh, we killed that. <laughs> <laughs> CJ say we killed that. <laughs> okay, do y'all like that? Okay, y'all yeah. get it? Now, y'all see what's happening here? Okay, let me try another one. Are we ready? Oh, we're ready. Okay. Let every day be Christmas. Christmas is forever, not for just one day. For loving, sharing, giving are not to put away. Like bells and lights and tinsel in some box upon a shelf. The good you do for others is good you do yourself. Oh, it's so wholesome. That was pleasant. That was a pleasant one. Okay, I got another pleasant one. Are you ready? Giddy up, you ready? <laughs> giddy, 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 giddy up. Here we go. The joy of giving. Somehow, not only for Christmas, but all the long year through, the joy that you give to others is the joy that comes back to you. And the more you spend in blessing the poor and lonely and sad, the more your heart's possessing returns to make you glad. Okay, that was, Grace, that was a nice little pluck. <laughs> that was a good, timely pluck. Okay, we getting this? Yeah. We good? Yeah. Okay, if we can keep Isaiah's together. Okay, now this is a good one. Are we ready? This is the long one. Giddy up, you ready to get up on this? Okay, he is really enjoying this. <laughs> All right, here we go. This one is called Milk and Cookies for Santa. There's milk and cookies for Santa. And they look delicious to me. There are four on a plate on the mantle. And if I eat one, there will be three. Santa's quite a plump fellow. Looks like he ate well all year. If I eat one more cookie, Santa will still have two. 
Those cookies have made my mouth dry. <laughs> <laughs> and now I need something to drink. That milk is quite chilly. A few gulps will do, I think. Those cookies were oh ho 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 so tasty. I don't think my tummy is quite done. If I only eat one more cookie, Santa surely can't get by with just one. That last cookie looks so lonely. He <laughs> must miss his friends in his in, in my tummy. I'm not sure that I can resist him. Nope, I cannot. And he's certainly yummy. Oh, ho, ho. Santa's treat is going now. If I'm caught, I'll be in big trouble. I need to beat the feet to the scene of the crime and get back into bed on a dime. That's just not how the story that was, was that was not plop. how the story was written, but that was a plop. Oh, okay, maybe I missed a few words. I'm doing the best I can here. Maybe. Giddy up, you did good. Giddy up, said, maybe. <laughs> okay, how are we doing? We doing good? Yeah. Yeah. Isaiah, why don't you play us a uh Christmas. No, no, no. I got one more final one to go. You ready? Yeah, you got a minute and 50 seconds. I got it. I can do it. You ready? Here we go. Where giddy you up. Are? You ready? Let's giddy up on it. The nicest present. It's a long one. Under the tree and gifts in thrall. But the nicest present of them all is filling our thoughts with those who care. Waiting on Christmas joy to share. I nailed that, and none of you guys came up with any kind of well, background you're, or you're nothing. You're missing about 78% of the entire poem, but you killed the first paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, okay. You want to speed run it or just put the music on? Let's keep the mu music running, unless Ashley wants to do a speed uh, a chubby snowman. Can you do it in a minute? Oh, yeah. Let's Her, try it. Let's try it. One minute. 58 Go. 58 seconds. <laughs> a chubby little snowman had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny. And what do you suppose? That hungry little bunny, looking for some lunch, grabs that snowman's nose and nibble, nibble, crunch. That was exceptional. Aww. She did that in less than 30 crunch. seconds. But you guys gave no crunch. You gave no <laughs> noise. I, I heard no plop. I heard nothing. So when we come back from the break, that we're going to start with the chubby snowman again. We'll redeem and I And I expect you guys to give it more pizzazz, plop, crunch, and sizzle. Okay. You going to be able to giddy up on that? Yeah, yeah. He said, okay. It, it, Isaiah, your son is having fun at this. All right. Are we ready to go? Yeah, we got eight seconds. Let's go to I'd like break. to hear some music because I'm not hearing any. All right, let's go. And we are back. You are listening to Local Biz Now. I am Joe Vagnon. And this is News Talk WSIC. If it's Friday morning, I'm sipping on a cup of black powder coffee because it's delicious. We hope that for the entire hour, we are inspiring, informing, and entertaining you. And today, because of our holiday special, I have my celebratory lights going strong. I got my celebratory coat. I got me an extra tie and a, a such and such scarf on. I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. And you are listening to Local Biz Now Holiday Show. Let me remind you, this show and all of the uh, small business shows, um, you can see on my uh, YouTube channel, my sexy new YouTube channel, uh, Joe Vagnone Business Broker. Go there and you can hear all of our shows. Plus, there's a bunch of good quality business stuff. We don't always um, just... Uh, play silly stuff around on this show but today that's exactly what we're going to do now let's get back to what we were doing ashley they did a poor job of supporting you 
just like an awful partner. job of supporting you when you read The Chubby Snowman. So we're going to have you do a redo of The Chubby Snowman. And I expect Giddy Up to get up on it. I want Grace to be plopping, plapping, and slapping. And let's see if we can't put a little bit of pizzazz in this thing. Give me some music behind it, Isaiah. We're going for international success on this one. <laughs> Ashley, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> you gonna give me some you gonna give me some song? <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, do give it. me the chubby snowman. A chubby little snowman. Like my boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's got ad lib coming already. <laughs> We're one sentence in and I'm already getting made fun of. This is not a good idea. Had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny. And what do you suppose? That hungry little bunny, looking for some lunch, grabbed that snowman's nose. Nibble, nibble, crunch. <laughs> the, only thing that the only thing that changed was I got made fun of. Okay. <laughs> So, so now, Ashley, I want I want you to be honest, okay? Be honest. I make this look easy, don't I? Very. There you go. So that's that's what I want all of you childrens to understand as y'all picking on me like this. I just make this look easy. Okay, are we ready? I got another poem that I'm going to read to you. You gonna give me some music? Listen, if I'm gonna have to start playing the music myself on the guitar, is that what's gonna have to happen? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. A friend's greeting. I'd like to be the sort of friend that you have been to me. I'd like to be the help that you've been. Always glad to be. I'd like to mean as much to you each minute of the day as you have meant old friend of mine to me along the way. I'd like to do the big things and the splendid things for you to brush the gray out of the sky and leave them only blue. I'd like to say the kindly things that I so often have heard and feel that I rose <coughs> through your soul the way that mine you've stirred. I'd like to give back the joy that you have given me, yet that we're wishing you a need I hope will never be. I'd like to make Your you feel as horrible <laughs> as rich as I can. <laughs> Who travel on undaunted in the darkest hours with you to lean upwards. <laughs> you make it I meant so upon. <laughs> you make it so hard for us to help you. Because you change I'm not finished, I'm not finished, I'm not finished. You change your style and speed every 15 words. I'm wishing at this Christmas time that I could not repay a portion of the gladness that you strown along the way. What does strown mean? I was going to ask Ashley that when this is over. <laughs> and could I have one wish this year? This only would it be. I'd like to be the sort of friend that you have been to me. Aww. Grace, be honest. I nailed that. You nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. Ashley, your turn. You want to do another one, Ashley? Sure. Now, y'all going to support her on this or y'all going to... Be weak. We'll, we'll do our best. Okay. Ashley, bring, which one you going to bring? I'm going to bring the thunder. Um, be careful, Grandma. Okay. 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 As Grandma was getting ready to leave the house on Christmas Eve, Olivia looked at her with concern. Make sure to be really careful on your way home. Santa's delivering presents. Her grandmother, <laughs> her grandmother smiled at her. I don't think I have to worry about Santa. Olivia looked at her incredulously. Haven't you heard? He's already ran one grandmother over. Ah. <laughs> okay, now first of all... It's a good thing I'm, she read that, because you would have not known how to say some of those words. That's what I was going to say to incredulous listeners. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm so glad I didn't have to read that. One. What was it? What word was that again, Joe? Incredulous listeners. <laughs> and, and, Incrustation. And, and, 
I really want to know, Ashley, the last poem that I read, that word strewn, S-T-R-E-W-N, along the way. What's that mean? Strewn. It's like, um, the best way for me to describe it is like the flower girl with rose petals. Happily, merrily, strolling no, along. Like, okay. No, strewing something is, um, like you're throwing something. Okay. Out. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. <clears throat> ah, let me just. Let me just. Okay. Here we go. Grace, let me ask you a question. Now, this. This is just. This. I, I'm. I'm curious if you know this. How does Santa measure his bag? I don't know. In Santa meters. Ah. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on now, that was a good one. Who delivers presents to cats? Santa Paws. Ah. <laughs> you didn't even give me enough time to think about it. Oh, you literally think you're going to be able to get this. Well, not. Okay, Maybe here's another one. one. This is another Santa joke. Okay, you ready? Why did Santa get a parking ticket on Christmas Eve? Not sure. Not sure. <laughs> Have I given you enough time to not get it? Yeah. Okay. He left his sleigh in a snow parking zone. Uh, that one's not very Gideon, good. that was pretty funny. You didn't think that was funny? <laughs> no, you ain't even pay me no never mind on that one, did you? <laughs> Y'all could have added a little bit of noise to that one. It, it would have worked better. It would it would have worked better if y'all would have added just a little bit of something to it. Okay, I, okay, I, I got I got another I got another one. This is a snowman joke. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna change it up a little bit. Snowman joke. Okay, what do you get if you cross a snowman and a vampire? Now this is doable. Grace, you a, were thinking about a it. snampire. You got it. A snampire? <laughs> a frost a frostbite. Oh, that wasn't even oh. close. <laughs> Why you say I got it? Wait, that was, that <laughs> he was su no way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he surprised me that he even came close. <laughs> Grace, it wasn't that funny. What was the name? What was the real name? Frost <laughs> Frostbite. Frostbite. <laughs> and and <then> Snampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm you sorry. Were, I thought you were I close. Was, I was look Isaiah, you stay out of this. You just press the buttons. You're not supposed to do nothing but press buttons. You absolutely demolished that joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that okay. All right, all right. I might mess that one up. Okay, it might. All right, I, I might mess that one up. <laughs> all right, let's try another snowman joke. I meant it. I might mess. You know, part of the problem is I'm thinking my celebratory lights is making me blind. <laughs> I'm having a hard time reading this. Some of the eggnog you had earlier. Okay, here, here we go. Here we go. Here, here we go. Thirty here, seconds. Here we go. Here, how much we got? We got thirty seconds. Do you want to do what it after you come back? What do snowmen do on the weekends? Now this is doable. What do snowmen do on the weekends? Just sit there. What is sit there like? Hang around. I don't Chill. Uh, I wanted to, that. See, that would have been close. The other yeah, one, yeah. The Stampire was <laughs> nowhere near. All right, right here we go. You are. WSIC will be right back for the holiday celebratory show. And we are back. You are listening to the number one business talk radio show in all of North Carolina, certainly in Statesville, all the way to Huntersville and all the towns in between. This is News Talk WSIC, 105.9 FM, 100.7 FM, 1400 AM. I am Joe Vagnone. This is Local Biz Now. We've been going strong for 10 years, and we give you this gift. We've had a lot of fun doing this show. We hope you have enjoyed the show. It is clearly a celebratory holiday show that we're giving you. Um, and if it is WSIC, your business matters and today your holiday matters to us and we hope you have a wonderful holiday throughout the year please go to my brand new sexy youtube channel joe vagnone business broker we have this show and all of the shows that we have recorded uh, broken out that is joe vagnone business broker please go there and enjoy all of the shows that we have done over the years. I have here 
for the entire show. My son, C.J. Vagnone, his girlfriend, Ashley Freed. Yes. I got that right. Yeah, it only took five tries and a a year of dating her. (laughs) I have Isaiah Sanchez. Yes. I got that right, didn't I? Yeah, finally. (laughs) Your son, Gideon. I gave him a nickname, Gideon. (laughs) Say hi to everybody, Gideon. Hello. Say hi to you. Say it, baby. Say it. Hi to you. Hi to you. He said, no, I ain't doing that. No, I ain't doing that. Say giddy up. No. No. All right. And we got Slay. 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 Say it again. Slay. 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 Some names are hard for me, Sayla. Don't be upset with me. Some names are hard for me. Sayla, middle name, Grace. And I've been calling her Grace. Sayla, thank you for doing this with me. We appreciate it. Okay, and we've been adding a little bit of uh, noise to our readings today. And now we're ready for another one. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, give me a little bit of music, guys. Ass. This one is called... Bad Christmas Tree. Three years ago, Maria's new secret puppy pooped under the Christmas tree before her father could put it in hiding. When Maria came home from her grandma's Christmas Eve, she went to look under the Christmas tree. Seeing the poop on the floor, Maria quickly ran into the kitchen to her mother. Mom, I think you need to give the Christmas tree a time out. Why, sweetheart? It pooped on the floor. Uh, It, it, you know, it reads a whole lot better than it sounds. (laughs) That wasn't funny, Grace. But Gracie, you nailed it on the poop drop. Well, you also read the story completely wrong. Did I? Well, yeah, it, it's a three-year-old Maria, not three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny because she's a little kid. <laughs> and you did something wrong with Christmas Eve also. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. You read it now. Let's do it again. I'm going to be the mom. You, you. Oh, goodness. Okay, okay here we go. <laughs> okay, you, you think you know. Wait a minute, you ready with the poop droppings? <laughs> You see if you can do better than me. Go on. Three-year-old Maria's new secret puppy pooped under the Christmas tree before her father could put it in hiding. When Maria came home from her grandmother's on Christmas Eve, she went to look at the Christmas tree, seeing the poop on the floor. Maria quickly ran into the kitchen to her mother. Mom, I think you need to give the Christmas tree a timeout. Why is it, my sweet darling child, Maria? Why is that? Tell us why. <laughs> We're Stay, dying, dying to character. know. <laughs> My sweet darling, why would you say such a thing about a Christmas tree? It pooped on the floor. Oh, baby. <laughs> no, it didn't. What are we going to do about that? How long do you think it should be for a time out? <laughs> And she said, I'm done with this. I ain't done with it anymore. Okay. Uh, that's funny. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, we have a special, <coughs> special poem for you. You ready to get up? Put your, put, your, put your face up to the microphone so you can hear it. Here we go, giddy up. Isaiah, give me some good music now. Go to it, buddy. When Santa Claus comes. A good time is coming, I wish it were here, the very best time in the whole of the year. I'm counting each day on my fingers and thumbs, that weeks that must pass before Santa Claus comes. When the, then when the first snowflakes begin to come down, and the wind whistles sharp and branches are brown, I'll not mind the cold, though my fingers it numbs, for, for it brings the time near when Santa Claus comes. That was the best reading of them all. (laughs) Okay, now, Ashley, you are now going to read the famous, (coughs) if you stop coughing, take take a little sip of water. She's still upset about mama's poop. (laughs) I know. Okay, you are going to do the night before Christmas, 
I am going to take my place as a noisemaker and participate. Do you want to tell the story of how Plopper, we... Plopper, are you ready, Plopper? Do you want to tell the story of how we came up with this idea, with this story last Christmas? Why, why don't you do that? Why, why don't you... Why don't you Oh, and also tell us how your got a topper girlfriend tried to do us in. So, yeah, well, that, that's what happens when you have an outgoing girlfriend. But so we originally created this idea with your your niece and nephew, my little cousins. They wanted a, a bedtime Christmas story. So we made our own iteration of the night before Christmas with the music. And I had that on my YouTube, so I can share it to you if you want the original. You can put oh, it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Send that to me so that you can yeah. hear our family night before Christmas. Christmas on my on my YouTube channel. So we created this with our own sounds and did it at home and sent it to our, our baby cousins and they loved it. And that was two years ago. We've been doing and, it every year since. And so we, we did it last year. And so we created this and then we just did a funnier one and sent it to Ashley's family. Of course, our family's not allowed to win anything. So her family, her family had to destroy us and make theirs way funnier. And so they one up us. They did one up us. So we're coming back this year, but we're gonna make her read the dull one this year, so we can plot on her. That's right. That's right. So, so um, let's do it. We come back from break, so we have enough time to to do it. Um, and we're gonna do the uh, night before Christmas for you. But because I have a little extra time. I got another Christmas joke for you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what falls in the winter but never gets hurt? Now, you guys should be able to get this. Oh, I know this. Snowflake, yeah. Grace, you should get this. Snow. Snow, that's yeah. it. You got that one. You got that one. Who's the Grinch's least favorite band? The Who. Ah, <laughs> That's funny. That was a good one. <laughs> that that was a funny. good one. What do fish sing at Christmas time? <laughs> Christmas carols. I don't get it. Corals. Excuse me, I read that wrong. <laughs> Grace, you don't have to laugh at me. I just read it wrong. That's all. Christmas coral. Why you gotta make fun of me, You're Grace? Horrible at this. Coral. <laughs> yeah, you just ruined the whole joke. <laughs> and they get mad that we don't laugh at it. <laughs> no, I have a Grace, nice. you could have helped me with that instead of making fun of me about it. <laughs> all right, I, I got more. I got more. I got more. I got more. Okay, okay. What do you call a snowman party? A snowball. Oh, that's Ooh, good. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, this is going to be a little difficult for me now, but I'm going to try and do it, okay? <laughs> what, what do you... I got to tell you, this celebratory light is blinding me. What do snowmen call their offspring? Snowballs. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Chill. Dern. <laughs> Did I read that right? Crazy. Children. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funny. One more, one more, one more. How do you greet a snowman? Five seconds. Ice to meet ya. <laughs> oh, crazy. That was good. You know it was good. And we're back. You are listening to Local Biz Now. I am Joe Vagnone. If it's Friday morning, your business matters. This is the number one talk business show. And today, we have decided to be number one holiday show for the day. Now, before we get started, it seems as though everybody doesn't seem to understand. I make this look easy. Isn't that right, Isaiah? Say it, say it, say it. You know I make this look yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. You make it yeah. look So hard. we're going to test y'all's <laughs> skill set. What, what did the little man say? make it look hard. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start it. You're going to finish the sentence. CJ, you go first. If it's Friday morning, your business matters. Oh, that wasn't bad. Ashley, you ready? Oh, if it's yeah. Friday morning. I feel like i got to get low with it. Your business matters. <laughs> <laughs> if it's Friday morning, I'm drinking on some black powder coffee, and you know, <laughs> I think oh, I got it. No, you can't do the black powder one. That's, yeah. That'd be gone. And then if it's Friday it. morning, I'm sipping on a cup of black powder coffee because it's delicious. delicious. Okay, little man, you ready to go? 
if it's WSIC. Your business matters. Yeah, he nailed that. <laughs> okay, all right. We are now, whoa, 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 whoa. I know we said we're going to do Night for Christmas, and we're going to get to it. But before we do that, I have a Christmas riddle for you. Ooh. No, 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 no. Here it is, here it is, here it is. <laughs> I come with a lot of colors, so lovely and bright. Can, I can. turn so many houses into a beautiful sight. What am I? Christmas tree. What? Christmas, Christmas tree. lights. Yeah, okay, y'all got me on that one. Y'all got me on that one. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. You place a skirt around me. My bottom once I've been chopped. Christmas tree. Oh, next. come on. Let me at least finish. <laughs> at least as good riddles. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Although it might look like I belong on your toes, I'm actually Stop. hung up for gifts um, as um, little I'm children just, uh, knows. <laughs> what do you say? Stocking. Stocking. <laughs> You're right. You got it. Stocking. One more, one more, one more, one more. I'm a plant seen every Christmas which people hang up above and then they stand beneath me and kiss someone they Mistletoe. love what am i Mistletoe. miss oh you trying to be smart now you trying to be smart Ellie, <laughs> just like your daddy now <laughs> know everything just for that i'm gonna give you one more this was gonna be a hard one it's gonna be a ooh, this gonna be a tricky one here no. candy cane <laughs> <laughs> He is a man during winters, Santa. but he might, but he <laughs> might be a source of water during spring. Who is he? That's you, Snowman. Yeah. Come on. Okay, here's another one. I'm positive this smart little fella is not gonna get. I am an egg, but I'm meant to be drunk with. Type of egg? I, what type of egg am I? Egg? egg no. no. Yo, he did yeah. get it. He did get it. I was just gonna say you probably never had any egg nog, have you? <laughs> You're not missing out. Okay. All right. Okay. Are, are we ready? You, Ashley. Now I want you to do this good. I want you to do this seriously. Okay. Isaiah, I want some good music. Play it kind of loud. I need plopping. Hopping, slopping, dangin' and dangin'. Are we ready? She's she's conning me into reading the other half. Oh boy. Yeah, see. Are what? you ready? I Let's go. Let's do it. <clears throat> Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. And <laughs> in hopes that Saint Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter snack. That's not even helpful. <laughs> <laughs> when out in the lawn there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver, so lively and quick. I knew in that moment he must be Saint Nick. The more, more rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, on Blitzen. What about Rudolph? <laughs> to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away all. Oh, I should have done that part. As leaves that, <laughs> leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up the housetop, 
the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys <laughs> he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me no, I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all of the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving up a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. And away they flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. You just oh, made that God. miserable. I really think I nailed it with the, with the sound effect. <laughs> Can I shake this? Yeah. Little man, I'm gonna tell you, you did. Oh, she missed the great opportunity to use that, and she didn't use that. Okay, so let me ask you a question, Gracie. Do you have a memory? Now is your time to get back at your daddy. A Christmas memory or a holiday memory you would like to tell me about? You come on, it's just between us. Did you have a moment? Us and seventy thousand people listening. <laughs> You have a moment. What's your daddy like Christmas morning? Does he get up and make your breakfast, or does he sit in his chair and do nothing? Okay, we have a Christmas. You got, you got okay. one minute. Harry. Okay, we got a Christmas tradition where my dad will make a bucket full of bacon and Ooh, a bucket full bucket of cookies. Bucket full of bacon. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and a bucket full of cookies, and we eat it throughout Christmas. Yes, and I we, I make a whole big old thing of bacon and they love it. I've started it two years ago and they asked for it every year since. A bucket of why don't we do buckets <laughs> of bacon? Bacon. bacon? Unwrapping presents, eating bacon. Come on, we don't have to stop. Just eat bacon. <laughs> you know, when you get older and you tell your boyfriend you know, my family tradition is we make a bucket of bacon. <laughs> 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 hey guys, thank you so much. I thank appreciate you. you guys sharing the holiday celebratory show with me. You guys listening to Local Biz Now, please have a good holiday, and we'll see you next year. Goodbye. <laughs>